Okay, OBJ coming back to the Rams. Hmm. Well, there was a tweet that um, of OBJ uh, on a yacht and Kelly Stafford um, replied to him, says, yacht looks amazing. Uh, but at uh, Matthew Stafford misses you. So please come back home, right? Emojis, emojis. OBJ replies, mama, you know what I'm waiting on and I miss big bro. God, it feels right. Can finally tag at Matthew Stafford. Can you guys hold it down till mid season again and come join late and win a ring again? Emojis, emojis with the purple devil emoji. <laughs> so that's the, um, tweet that's been going on the reply and we will see and like we, i've been saying before i believe that we're going to get obj back unless someone steps in and ruins it um he's not available until october november and that's what he's waiting for and um he wants to make sure that he's ready to go before he says yes i'm gonna um sign with the rams so um, most likely he is coming back i mean he wants to be with the rams if you look at his twitter feed the background shows him with the rams cap on the super bowl cap on and the lombardi so there's the news that's been going around uh internet and so more obj stuff so i'll, I'll leave you with this clip and i'll be doing a live today to make up for yesterday sorry for that and i um, hope you guys uh, enjoy your day and i'll see you guys tonight on my live as we always say, may the Romelia be with you and Ramulators. Mount up. And then I'm gonna go. I'm I'm about to put Odell in here. He still got it. In 2020, Odell Beckham Jr. fell out of the top 100 for the first time in his career. 2021 was a bit different as well. He started it as a Brown, ended it as a Super Bowl champion Ram, and somewhere in the middle found a rebirth and a spot back on the top 100. Odell, I saw a maturity. Worked so hard. Perception versus reality, right? We know what you're all about. Go put on a show for us today. I mean, at one point he was top five most popular athlete in the world. That's a lot. It's a lot, man. NFL guys, we, we don't typically get that type of stardom, especially as early as he got it. When a guy gets that, they're at Tom Brady's age or Aaron's age, Rogers, right? Not as young as Odell was. So that was a lot for him to handle. And sometimes just a change of scenery right? A new situation. Sometimes it's all a guy needs. Stafford to throw. Ready to let it go. Cuts it loose. OBJ! Touchdown LA! After joining the Rams in week 10, OBJ caught 27 balls over the last eight games of the regular season, then 21 more over LA's playoff run. I remember they were double teaming him in the Green Bay game. And Green Bay plays a lot of quarters. I want to see him run like a slant and go. Um, so he kind of split the double team because it was a corner and a safety that were both, I mean, technically responsible for him in a sense. Um, and he was able to split them, you know, and catch the ball, score a touchdown. And this is what we talked about, that slant and go that they've been setting up all game. This is the explosiveness you can get from Odell Beckham Jr. Then it was like a prime time game, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's Odell, <laughs> you know? He's back to being himself, and it showed up in the Super Bowl. Looking for Odell Beckham Jr. He high points the football. Touchdown, OBJ. Now Stafford, the let it go, right side, OBJ in space. Go, Odell! Beckham had two catches for 52 yards and a touchdown before tearing his ACL in the second quarter. Bengals rush four, Stafford deals, short, juggle, and drop, and OBJ goes down. Oh no, what did he just do? If he don't get hurt, that, that, that game looks, it, it looks a little different, I'll say, because he was on fire. Had he finished out the Super Bowl, he would have probably, you know, had, you know, 10 plus catches, you know, 100 something yards, maybe a couple touchdowns. He would have definitely had his moment. Hey. And he got his ring. I'm happy for him because he deserves it. 
And, and now he's truly commanded the respect of his peers.